Sergeant, why are you so certain no one is coming? We're just clones, sir. We're meant to be expendable. Not to me. Hey, what's happening? Good morning, I'm Sir James. Coming at you guys with the... I'm trying to do the intro. I'm trying to intro. <laughs> What is happening everyone? I'm Sir James coming at you guys with another video. I'm trying to talk. You can't give me excuses why I talk. And um, in today's little Friday episode. <laughs> hey, what's happening everyone? I'm Sir James coming at you guys with another video and hopefully you guys are doing well. I decided to keep the main light off. I think this will be a little bit of a cooler effect. Let me know if you guys like it in the dark rather than all the lights on. Um, but anyways, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Sideshow Collectibles Wolfpack Trooper. It's another older figure release that you can only currently find on the secondhand market because on Monday earlier this week, we took a look at Commander Wolf. So we're going to go ahead and see a nice perfect companion piece if you're able to get a solid deal on these two figures, which I'm hoping to maybe down the road get another Wolfpack Trooper if I could find one that is also for another good deal. So before we begin, some good news to share with you guys is that I am also going to be doing a figure unboxing and review of the Hot Toys Remnant Trooper from The Mandalorian. And yes, I'll be also doing The Mandalorian as well eventually when he comes in. And last but not least, in regards to the lightsaber videos, the Kanan Saber has shipped out. The Yoda Saber is going to be shipping out within hopefully by this weekend. And also too, Saber Forge did announce and release a brand new lightsaber known as Dark Ray. Images up on screen. And yes, I will also have a video on that health down the road eventually when that time comes. And last but not least, before we get started, as Crafted Core is going to be releasing a new product, I believe on Monday, a nice cool glow-in-the-dark mystery crystal is going to be pretty cool. So whenever that comes out, and of course their current lineup, I expect videos to be presented on those as well. But until then, let's go ahead and change the camera views around and take a closer look at the Sideshow Collectible Wolfpack Trooper. Alright, so here is the official packaging of the Sideshow Collectible Wolfpack Clone Trooper of the 104th. Uh, this is actually starting to use their newer packaging as they kind of changed it throughout the years where you have a little bit more of a smaller box but it's still jam-packed with a lot of accessories that you would expect to find in these older Sideshow figures. Now whether or not Hot Toys in the near future is going to do their own version of the Wolfpack Troopers uh, remains to be seen but we'll just have to kind of wait and see since they're going to be starting to do the Clone Wars starting in 2022 so plenty of time to see save that's for sure and of course as we open it up we just get a little simple window preview here with the figure and all the accessories are jam-packed right behind them and the other uh, packaging and it doesn't really say much here it doesn't even have any description it just says star wars wolfpack clone trooper of the one of fourth as simple as that let's go ahead and remove the tab on the very top here All right, and just like so, we just have two. We have the main package here, and then the tray with all our additional accessories. So very straightforward. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the last time. We're just gonna go ahead and start with this packaging here. This has some of the accessories, while the other portion has the remaining bits of it. And one of the things that I really like about the Sideshow Clone Troopers is that you do get a nice array of accessories for the hands. And instead of getting, uh, you know, a couple pegs or whatnot, you get each, every one of these hands or even feet come with their own pegs. So you're going to have a bunch of extras just in case if one breaks down the road, which honestly I've never had issues with myself. All right, so starting with that bottom portion of the packaging, when it comes to the trooper, you have three different options. You can choose to leave the trooper plain, or if you want to add an additional accessory, you could either opt in to use the uh, jetpack here, which I'll show you how this attaches because I actually never did on the Commander Wolf video. Uh, the third option that you have is that you could also use 
the backpack option, which I really like. So I like the fact that we get these different options here. Nice logo and weathering around. The top part of this backpack is a soft goods material, which you could easily open this up. And if you want to store anything in there, you actually can. Let's go ahead and bring that down and close it right up. As far as one of two weapons that he has is that he has the longer blaster here. So if you wish to use that, I don't really quite often use uh, these longer weapons just for whatever reason. Maybe for some of the other older ones like phase one, uh, but not so much for the current figures here. Um, as for some of the hands that we have here, uh, we have two of the palm out hands. We also have two thumbs up. There you go. We also have a one finger or two finger point. And this is for the right hand for the one finger point. The left hand is the two finger point. We also have a trigger hand for the left hand side. And then we also have a more of an open hand to cradle the rifle in hand. And then the rest of the items are with the main figure itself. We do have two more hands, which is another open uh, palm resting hand for your weapon for the left hand side. And then we have another trigger hand here, which is for the right hand. And last but not least, we also have for the left hand, a two finger uh, with the two fingers pointing outwards. So maybe you want him doing a peace sign or whatever the case may be. And this figure also does come with two extra feet. So if you want to pose them in a running pose, uh, you do have the feet that is included. So you can go ahead and get that nice bend in there. There you go. Again, options are always good. You have his other primary weapon that is included inside the box. Again, most of these accessories are pretty common with a lot of, if not all the clone troopers. And the rest of the items here will include if not limited to your display stand. Uh, some of the clone troopers, depending on what it is, sometimes they'll have an exclusive edition uh, where you get a little bit of a fancier base where it's a white and sometimes they'll have like the name of the trooper and uh, their rank and whatnot. Uh, I don't know if they ever did one for the wolf pack trooper itself, uh, but you know what? I personally, I'm not really bothered when it comes to the base itself, you know, because I only care about how the figure looks and how he poses. So here is a closer look at the Wolfpack Trooper. As you can see, uh, he only comes with his phase two helmet. I kind of wish you had the option for phase one and phase two, but seeing as you get the backpack and the jet pack, maybe that's why they opt in to only giving you the one option rather than two. Uh, though, even though Commander Wolf does come with the phase one and phase two would have been kind of nice to be able to pose him in the phase one helmet to match along with the trooper. Uh, but it is what it is. And as you can see, the weathering on this guy from the helmet all the way down the body looks very, very good. And then the same thing on the back here. And I liked it over the the years as it goes by, which I do have an older figure from like 2009, maybe even 2008, uh, where we kind of see, you know, what the troopers used to look like back in the day and what they started to look like as the years go by. Fix up the stain here really quick. So one thing I never addressed when it comes to the jetpack is that this actually connects with a magnet, uh, just like so. And then now you have the clone trooper using 
jetpack and it's easy to remove simple as that it's not a super strong magnet nor is it super weak it's just enough for it to cradle and rest there and for whatever it is that you want to do as far as poses go the backpack however does have straps so you would have to uh, either bend the arms back to put the backpack on or you would have to loosen the straps or just unclip them and then connect them to the trooper. These actually came loose, so I do need to fix this really quick before I do any posing. Uh, but you know, with him and the backpack on, which actually, you know what? The backpack actually does have a magnet as well, but of course it's gonna look awkward without the straps being uh, cradled around the uh, shoulders here. But if you want to opt in and use the backpack, for me, for my initial pose, since I have them kind of up here, I am actually using a Darth Maul display stand, which I have over here for a second. So I like to pose them with the jetpack and put them on here with Commander Wolf right here, issuing a command, which is why I want to get another Wolf Pack Trooper because there's another segment here for one of these bendable display uh, stands and hopefully to have them kind of posed, maybe go in the opposite direction or maybe a little bit longer one and to kind of just have it as like the surviving main members of the original Wolfpack Troopers as kind of like the idea that I wanted to go for, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, now the Cologne Troopers, as far as posability goes, are always going to be the same. Uh, you are going to have some limitations when it comes to the armor of the troopers like for example if you start bending the arm up and you start going a little bit too far uh, the um, the joint in the hand for example will actually start to uh, pretty much come off actually that one kind of held together pretty well surprisingly it depends on where this little elbow piece rests in but you could easily able to remove that and figure out which one you want to go ahead and use next so if, like for example for me it'll be the gun arm now, sometimes on occasion, a piece of the armor will come off like this, but it just slides right back on. He does have a, um, a basic suit underneath, so nothing too crazy, nothing that's going to hold it against its will or anything like that. I do have some nice bins here within the leg here. And definitely for the time of this trooper, even though I did get the second hand, it was easily well taken care of, that's for sure. Um, but overall, a really nice figure in the end and a really nice companion piece to get with my Commander Wolf. But let me know what you guys think about this figure in the comment section down below. I do want to inform you that I'm actually gonna be getting in, which I think I've probably stated this towards the beginning of the video, but I'm kind of recording this out of order, is that I am gonna be getting the Remnant Trooper from the Mandalorian, which is a Hot Toys figure, which that one is available for sale and ready for pickup. So uh, whenever he comes in, I'll be doing a video on that. So let me know what you guys think. Until then, I'll see you on the next review. As for which one, well, I'll keep it a surprise until then. And I'll see you guys later on, and I hope you enjoy your weekend.